Hey guys, it's Mel and Airsoft here. Today we are reviewing the King Arms uh, CAA licensed M4 Sports Line CQB. Now, if that long name over, let's begin. Starting with the front end, yeah, you got your front barrel. This part is plastic, but the rest of the outer barrel is metal. Uh, you got your front sights, which cannot be detached because it's connected to this entire thing. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the flash hider is made of plastic, so it can break it off very easily. Uh, in fact, the whole gun is made of plastic, but this entire part, most intense plastic ever. It's a reinforced nylon, which is just a really strong plastic in English terms. Uh, so it will not break on you whatsoever. Like unless you drop it off a really tall building, it will not break. Uh, yeah, that's the front. You got your highly modular, ergonomic um, handguard made by CAA. CAA made the uh, furniture on this gun. Uh, perfect for you CQB people when you use your C grip. Uh, I usually use my C grip right here. Some of you use it like right in the front, which I can understand, but I just put it right here. That's perfect for me because my fingers are wrapped around over here, which is the rail part. Each rail comes with a little curve on the sides here, so it's still comfortable, and but you still get that rail space. Um, these can be uh, swapped out for a longer rail or no rail at all. Same with the bottom. Uh, you got your plastic delta ring over here and your fake gas tube. Picatinny rails on top and the upper receiver. Also, the same really strong plastic. Comes with this amazing strong plastic flip up sights made by CAA. CAA makes amazing quality flip up sights. Yeah, just how, how am I going to show you guys? Like, Okay, there we go. Uh, there's three settings there's little one, then there's small hole, then there's big hole. And they're all adjustable. Flip it, flip it down. Now if you open up the charging angle, opens up the fake bolt, which reveals the hop-up. Uh, CAA markings, because it is licensed, your magazine release over here. Pushy switch. Uh, metal trigger. Incredibly ergonomic pistol grip. Look at that. Classic CAA with the motor inside. Which we'll cover it later. Other side, non functional bolt release, which is a shame. Uh, and the fire selector. It is made of metal, this part. I have a bone to pick on this. Um, because I don't know if it's me or I just like, whenever I'm playing CQB, because I get trigger happy sometimes, I always flick it onto safety. Uh, so I don't shoot my own teammate or shoot someone who's walking out. I only flip it directly to semi if I see someone that I want to shoot. Now this has caused a few problems. First of all, it made it kind of loose. Which means that, let's say I'm running with it on semi, it will slowly become auto and by the time I see someone, I'll hold the trigger down and it'll I have to explain to them why it happened. Uh, however, this has its advantages too. Uh, because it's on safety, you want to quickly flip it semi so you can shoot them and go pew pew, right? Uh, some of them have really solid uh, fire selector switches, so you actually have to push down before you shoot. This is speedy, but it's kind of a random thing. Happens in a lot of these CAA guns, so just beware of that. Um, check it every so often. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, the buffer tube. This is plastic. This, well, I'm gonna say polymer because it's like, this is the real strong plastic, right? This isn't like your average Walmart plastic. It's like at least 10 times better than that. This ring over here is attached to the buffer tube. I do not know why, but it just is. Do not try and twist it off. Because I tried doing that and I almost cracked the buffer tube in half. 
This stock over here is made by CAA. CAA is highly modular and uh, everything is ergonomic as you just saw. It has two three point sling points right here, as well as one on the front, hind guard, as well as a clip sling or one point sling, I think, right here at the back. Um, it's six point stock, so you could adjust it six different ways. The switch itself is ergonomic. Um, over here, this is a door to house your airsoft batteries. Uh, so, if you're playing a Milson game and you run out of batteries, you could take out your batteries and make your own on the field where you're getting shot at, which is very highly unlikely. But most people will store, let's say, their Peckpock batteries in here or your NVG batteries in here. Um, and the other side of that is a set of weaver rails. Uh, you could put anything you want over here, uh, like, such as an infrared shrobe kind of thing. So if you're playing at night, your buddies behind you, if they have MVGs, will know that you're in front of them and they will not shoot you. Uh, as well, you could put a peck box back here with a laser and a flashlight that just goes along the side of your gun. Uh, and that just saves some space on the front that you could be using for uh, your own strobe flashlight. Um, these doors, if you can see, have little Allen, Allen screws. That means they could be interchanged. So this door can actually go on this side if you want. Um, this hole over here is for an additional CAA uh, cheek riser mount thing that adjustable in like, every single way you can think of. Uh, but you have to buy it separately. But it's highly ergonomic and highly adjustable. The back part here is just rubber. Really good rubber. Has not broken yet, and I've had this gun for about three years now. Uh, so let's go in the internals. Version 2, I believe, metal gearbox. Uh, I don't believe the motor is anything special. It's kind of a beginner's gun, but if you want to upgrade the motor and your internals, maybe take a miracle barrel. It's going to be amazing. It's kind of like... King Arms version of the GMG CM16 range, which are amazingly customizable. You could buy like a broken one, and just upgrade the internals and everything. You could do the same thing with this as a highly versatile. Only complaint right now is the battery compartment, which, if you can guess, is in the That was unnecessarily loud. You would pull back the delta ring and the lower part would come out. Uh, there's a battery that's really stuck in here. See, I ordered this gun off Matrix, which is, uh, I mean, not, I didn't order this gun off Matrix. I ordered this gun off Evike, and these are Matrix batteries, which are Evike's batteries. Uh, pretty much, when I bought it, they said, oh yeah, you need a specific type of battery for this. And it was okay, just, that was just a BB. Um, I didn't realize that they meant this is the only battery that could fit in here. Uh, unless you have a very slim lipo or something or else. These are triple or double A batteries, not your uh, typical black ones. I think the C batteries or whatever they're called. And even these are really tight fit in here. The reason is because this handguard is meant to be so ergonomic, it's also really small and rectangular. That means you can't really fit your circular ones in here. Um, with a really tight squeeze you can, but it'd be really awkward and have fun taking it out later. Part of the reason for that is this. The outer barrel is rectangular. God knows why, but it just is. It's also, but it's full metal, so thank God for that. My solution, of course, because I am a genius. Uh, I'm just going to show you right here. There is a little notch here that I carved out with a uh, saw. Pretty much, let's say you don't want these batteries, okay, let's say they died. You would take any uh, box of some sort, you could put a peck box, or for me, I use a sketchy way, I have an old M4 mag kind of thing. I put it over, I shop it on, there's a hole already inside it, so I would put the batteries upside down, the wires go through, right through that hole, and plugs in. And that is my way of solving it.
Yeah, so this is the King Arm CAA M4. Uh, Sportsline CQB. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.